Hello everybody. So we're back down at the uh, storage yard again and today we're actually going to be doing a repair on one of the items in the caravan. So this is the Carver Turbo Master 5500 that is fitted to our caravan and it is a convection heater. It runs on both gas and electric. There's two electric settings, a one kilowatt and a two kilowatt setting. And it's also a blown air system. So it distributes uh, hot air through the various points here. So here's one of the vents of the caravan there. There's another one at the front and there's various dotted around the, uh, the whole of the van. Now the physical blown air side of it is very intermittent. Um, to start with, it would not work at all. Um, I started to diagnose it and when we got the caravan the front of the heater was hanging off. It was obvious that somebody at some point had been in there and tried to find out what on earth was going wrong with this uh, unit and just left it. Whether that was one of the reasons why the previous owners got rid of the caravan or not is, um, remains to be seen but uh, it's something that we definitely want to get going because we're not just going to be going caravanning in nice weather. That's the plan anyway, we want to go caravanning all year round, so this is a must-have accessory. And uh, I really need to get it going properly. So the first thing I checked was the circuit board underneath here. Now it is a small slider circuit board, and the first problem that I noticed was the connector that connects that up was completely dry jointed. It looks like whoever had pulled the front of the heater off had snagged the cable behind it and split the solder joints. I'll show you that a bit closer up when I actually get the board off in a few minutes. Um, that was soldered back up and we actually managed to get some life out of the fan unit. Um, the problem we had then was just that the actual slider contacts underneath the uh, sliders here on the circuit board were very very worn and this basically causes another intermittent problem. So I think the first problem was caused by the uh, actual connection being snagged and broken and I think the reason they probably started looking to uh, fix this in the first place was probably because of the intermittent problem they were getting because of the sliders just being worn and this caravan is an, an old caravan now you know it's uh, was made in 2000 so it's 18 years old so I imagine this uh, board has had a lot of um, abuse over the years with uh, people turning the fans up and down now what we've actually got is a replacement board. Unfortunately Carver have gone out of business and don't actually make these units anymore. Supplies are readily available. You can get spares for them on eBay, uh, places like that. Um, I've actually gone to a third party company who makes a complete new board which is a lot more robust than the original ones that were fitted. And that's what we're going to be putting in today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to whip the front off the heater uh, I'll disconnect all the connections and then I'll come back to you when I've got the circuit board in my hand and we'll have a, a little look of what was actually wrong with it and what is causing the intermittent problem that we've got now. So uh, I shall see you again in a few minutes time. Right, so you uh, join me now with the front of the heater taken off. This uh, simply has two push fittings at the bottom, so you pull the bottom of the heater out and then lift it up off the gas nozzle, the, the gas control, sorry, that stays in, that does not come out. What you've got to be really careful for is this cable. Now this is the cable that plugs into the control board and there is not a lot of slack on it at all whatsoever. Once you've got this disconnected, you can then disconnect the cables off the uh, piezo ignition for the gas fire, which is just up there in the corner. And that has a, uh, these two cables connected to it, one that goes into the centre of the switch and one that goes onto an earthing point on the side of the switch. Now the front's off, we can actually see the little viewing port um, so we can make sure that the uh, fire's lit when we try and start it on gas. Uh, and you can see the exhaust that comes out from the heating chamber there and that goes to a little chimney on top of the caravan. Now the physical boards I have actually got here in front of me. So this is the original board here in, in the lighter green and behind is the new board that I bought from 
Applejack Engineering. Now the new board itself has got copper contacts on the board, which I'm hoping will last a lot longer than the ones that were on the original. It's also got a cable tie around the uh, connection block, so if we pull that over the other way, we can see here's where the connector goes in, and there's a little cable tie there just to help to relieve some of the strain off that. Um, now the original problem with the board was this connector here, my phone will focus, let's see, okay, so that had actually become disconnected on a couple of the pins, um, so it was resoldered, my soldering is not the neatest but it, it seemed to do the trick, now the pads were completely worn out and uh, it had to be bodged in a way to actually get some life out of the heater now a sort of a top tip for these type of pads if the coating is wearing off you can actually get a hb pencil or a good quality pencil and actually just color it in and the lead from the pencil will go on there and uh, it acts as sort of a lubrication for the pins that are on the sliders to work on and that's what i did with this and uh, we actually managed to get the uh, fan going, albeit the speed control was very, very, very temperamental. And I didn't want to leave it in that state. I'd rather get it fixed properly, which is why uh, I went out and bought the new board. One of the LEDs was also uh, broken on this board. So again, it just made sense to get a, a, new, a new board in there. Now the, the top, so the slider controls themselves, um, have got these little tiny copper fingers which is what acts against the circuit board to change the mode of the fan and also to adjust the speed of the uh, the fan itself now the board itself is attached onto here with it fits on like so and then it has these little tiny star washers which push or push it on now there's only four of these left, there should be six on the unit, so someone at some point has obviously been here, in here before. Um, so what I've had to do is, is just get a couple of star washers off eBay again um, to try and repair this fully. If you're missing the star washers, what will end up happening is the back end of the board will actually come away from the sliders and you'll get the intermittent problem. Um, with the sliders not making very good contact. Another way to do it is to put a blob of epoxy on the end of these uh, little studs that come out. The only problem with doing that is obviously it's going to be much more difficult to uh, get it apart again once you've uh, done that. So if you can get the star washers, and they do from time to time come up on eBay, if you can get them, uh, it's a good idea to do the job properly and then you're not going back and having to repair something that you've already pulled apart once before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the new board in, I'm going to put everything back together, and then you'll join me again for the testing of the fan unit, and hopefully uh, everything is going to work. So I'll uh, see you again in a few minutes. Okay, so the heater is now back together, um, the front has clipped back on, and it is now uh, quite solid on there. So we're going to try the um, the circuit board. I've made sure that the battery's connected. We've definitely got 12 volts to it, so we know that it should work as long as everything is uh, connected back up correctly. So if I move this over to the first point, and I'm not sure if anyone can hear that on the video, but the fan has started up. Um, and the one thing I can tell you is the LEDs on the new board are blue, not green, which I think is a nice touch against the red. Now, um, the first set point on this is gas uh, blown air heating. So it relies on the gas to physically heat up the, um, the air. So the switch at the back at this point is actually a fan control. So if I move this up, the fan speeds up. And that is on full speed now. It's fully proportional. So we can uh, slow that down a little bit and take it back down to the normal level. Now that is working perfectly. Uh, before I was having to wiggle the controller and do all sorts to actually get it to do anything. 
Now the next one along. That is actually blown uh, convection heating, sorry. Convection heating with the one kilowatt element. So that will just have heat radiating from the radiator and not being blown around. The next switch along is the convection heating, again, one kilowatt, with the fan on the slow position. So that is electric blown air heating. And the final position is the electric two kilowatt heater, and that is the fan on the fast position. Now, once you go into the electrical part of the control, the actual controller at the back doesn't become fan speed, it becomes temperature. So it um, regulates temperature and it works a bit like a thermostat. The fan is actually uh, on a control circuit at this point and basically speeds up and slows down as much as it needs to to maintain the temperature that you have set on here. So obviously furthest to the right being the hottest and furthest to the left being the coolest. So we'll just take this back now, back down, turn it off, and that is once again a fully working carver heater. These things are usually um, very reliable from what I've read. I've done a lot of research on them since buying the caravan. And the main problem with them seems to be this circuit board. And if it's not this circuit board, it's the control board at the back. And I have read that what frazzles them is if the fan um, becomes stiff and it stalls. And then there's no regulation for the actual current that's supplied to the fan. So it basically just melts the, the innards of the circuit board effectively uh, and uh, fries the components on there and that's what can happen as well and um, things to look out for that is a noisy fan so if you've got a noisy fan you can get a replacement they're easy enough to change um, you can get at the back of the unit in my caravan at least by removing this drawer so i'll pull that out and put that onto the bed and if you look behind there the fan unit is behind there uh, the lights not particularly good in here uh, but the fan unit is uh, is down here and it it literally spins off uh, and it plugs into the main control build so it's a, again a very easy change if that happens um, you can also try um, and lubricate the bearings because the bearings are accessible um, so you could get some uh, some thin oil down there um, something like say machine oil or something probably absolutely fine for a motor of that size um other than that uh, that's it for this video i hope it's been of help to somebody and i uh, hope you've all uh, enjoyed watching it that's all for me bye for now